What's up guys, it's your boy Travi. Welcome back to another super cool episode. Today we have mail, today is mail day. So we're gonna crack open our mail and uh, then we're gonna finish this off with a little bit of mystery magic. So let's start this off with our envelope here. We got the scissors today, no knife. Um, an envelope from Japan. I've got the uh, addresses blocked out here for you Snoopy Snoops. All right, let's check this out. I, I just gotta say, Beautiful envelopes, Japan. Beautiful, gosh, so good. All right, let's get in here. What do we have? Oh, still, uh, still a mystery. Let's check this out. All right, I think I know what these are. Awesome, these are actually some Nintendo Bondi wafer cards. You could get these out of uh, Bondi wafers. And uh, that's a uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Wow, these are beautiful actually. And Mario 64. Check those out guys. I ordered a couple of these. So I wonder if uh, a couple of these have uh, a couple of these in them. Yeah, super cool. Look at those. It's got a little, probably a tidbit of information there. Yeah, I love Mario Sunshine. Mario 64, not so much, but eh. All right, France. This one's from Republique of Francaise. I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, I'm Canadian, so a bit of bilingualism here, that that means the Republic of French. It looks like, I'm pretty sure this, this might be a similar package. Let's get these open. These are super cool. Nice. Yep, we got some more. So these were like history cards. So you would get them out of like uh, wafer packs, like snack packs. And I'm assuming it like, it has like a little tidbit of information about the video games. So yeah, Super Mario Land 3D, Super Mario Bros 2, uh, Super Mario Bros uh, 3, that one's from the NES, and Super Mario Land for Game Boy. It's awesome, I'm so happy these showed up. Which one's this? Assuming more? I don't remember buying so many. Huh. Uh, Super Mario Bros. U, Super Mario Maker, Mario Maker 2, and Super Mario Run. I think that was the mobile game. Not quite sure. All right, yeah, so yeah, Super Mario Bros. stuff. Mario, Mario, Mario. All right, this big one. I'm not quite sure where this one's even from. I think it's of the United States. Not too, too far. Not as far as France or Japan, that's for sure. So let's just cut this bad boy open. Let's see here. Oh, what is this? More bubble wrap. Bubble wrap on bubble wrap on bubble wrap. Let's get some of this out of the way. All right. Oh, more Mario stuff? The Nintendo Safe Kids Trading Card Treats. Discounted to 10 cents. Interesting. Oh, these these do smell vintage. That smell, that vintage, like, basement smell. <laughs> Maybe we should crack one open and check it out. What do you guys think? We'll do one, okay? We have our uh, juniper sleeves here from uh, last video, so I think we could open one. I, I kind of hate to do it, but, like, come on, guys, right? We'll, we'll open one here. And then maybe we'll do more in the future if you guys like it. I see Zelda right on the front. We're gonna pull Zelda out. Just see what, what we have in these packs here. Oh man. Oh, that basement smell. That is, that is uh, something else, that's for sure. Come on, open. All right, so we have Zelda to The Adventures of Link. Not holding in front of the camera. The Adventures of Link. We have another Adventures of Link. And Super Mario Bros. Let's see. So these are safe kids cards. So pretty sure like it's like promoting safety. 1991. To the delight of the mushroom people, Mario defeats the Koopa foes and rescues Princess Toad. Uh, Toadstool. A simple plumber, Mario, was working in Brooklyn one day when he heard a distant voice echoing from the pipes. It was the Princess Toadstool imprisoned by the evil King Koopa Bowser. 
Mario knew he could not stand by while such an injustice uh, reigned, so he leaped down the nearest manhole and, and was whisked to the Mushroom Kingdom and began the work of rescuing the princess. Huh. I guess that makes sense. He was a plumber. <laughs> Such a unique story, and Mario's so popular. Yeah, these Zelda cards are nice. I mean, there's some, like, whiting around the outside, but I'll still throw them in sleeves anyway. They're kind of cool looking, though. All right. And we have another one of those. That's That's pretty cool. I don't even remember buying these. Those late night eBay trips, you know? All right. So yeah, those are pretty cool. All right, next one here. Let's get to the mystery box. We know what you guys want. You guys want me to pull a base set pack. There's one in here, I can just tell. So let's get cracking. This is another repack from, uh, what are they called? JM Holdings or something? Uh, contain do, 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 MJ Holdings, MJ, JM, same thing. Um, yep, MJ Holdings. So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel after that, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh box. I mean, like, I did pull a Blue Eyes, uh, Legend of Blue Eyes pack, so maybe I could get something cool. I take a Shining Legends pack. We got, what, three packs in here? Chilling Rain, Vivid Voltage, and Darkness Ablaze. I can tell you guys for how much this was that this was a bust. I'll never buy one of these again. You just threw uh, three uh, three cardboard packs in here. That's that's rough, but whatever. Let's, uh, I mean, maybe not. I mean, if I get really good luck, I'm sure. And they're like half open. This is very weird. All right, first pack, Chilling Rain. Let's get the worst out of the way. See what we got here. All right, Argon and Galad as our rare. All right, lucky energy. Well, that's a cool looking energy. Kind of like a disco looking thing. Yeah, Galad there for our rare. Let's do Darkness Ablaze. I'm just like raiding cards that I want out of here and I think I want Charizard second to a Rainbow Chonkachu. So let's go with this one. I think I... I don't know if I did pull the VMAX. I don't even remember. Uh, Clink, Clink, and Dalcaddy for the rare turbo patch. There's your code card, upside down. There's your code card, guys. And let's do a uh, Vivid Voltage pack, all right? Vivid Voltage. Let's go, Rainbow Chunky Chew. Let's go. Heroes Metal and a Beedrill for the rare. So, I don't know. Maybe I will buy another and check these out. But as of right now, I'd say pfft, terrible. I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch them. Um, you know, they just stuffed three of these in there. That's kind of lame, you know? I mean, if anything, like, I thought there'd be maybe a Shining, uh, Shining Legends pack in here or something. That's all they're really showing is a base set pack and a Shining Legends pack. Eh... Who knows? I hope they recuperated the money to print the boxes because the boxes are beautiful. I, I have to say that at least. It really makes you want to jump on them. All right. And then let's take a last look at our wafer cards. These are awesome. Super Mario Bros. You. Let me get a little closer. These are just super sweet, man. I love Japanese cards. I don't know. They always.